Who thinks it's gonna be them? Who thinks they're gonna listen the best? Uh, I'm the language technology specialist for Cherokee Nation. Uh, I deal with um, language technology as far as uh, computers and, and making sure media, uh, making sure teachers have the things that they need uh, to teach the language. And one of the things that we offer is a Cherokee language class. And we've been uh, very fortunate. The last um, three, three lesson uh, series, we've had, this is our third one, with uh, Wade Blevins. Wade's good. He, he knows his stuff pretty good. You know, helps out. You know, when he doesn't, you got questions, he helps with the questions. And he, he has a lot of knowledge that uh, you can't find, like I said, around the area. Recently, I was appointed to a, a, a steering committee for the State Department of Education for uh, World Language, and we're developing a, a plan to help promote uh, language education uh, all across the state, uh, because not only indigenous languages, but uh, languages other than English in general in the state are declining. Uh, there are fewer teachers, fewer uh, people are entering uh, the teaching profession as far as language goes. So. It's been a pleasure uh, working with Wade and um, and what all he has done and um, he has really taught the kids a lot of Cherokee. The kids have really absorbed it and and he's got them at a good age to where they just take everything in. <laughs> It's exactly the same, you know, we're all babies when it comes to learning a new language. You know, the only difference is with the Head Start class, they can't read. So <laughs> I have to find other ways of getting that across to them without having, without writing it on the board, you know. To me, the best way to learn Cherokee is to have people to talk to you. Um, I, I ascribe to the idea that learning any second language is, is just like you learned your first language um, as a baby. Um, when you're a baby, you understand the language way before you can speak it. You know, you know what no means, you know what mom means, you know what hot means, you know, long before you can ever actually use the language yourself. And, and the reason for that is you're hearing it all the time. And so that's how I teach my classes. Uh, I give lots and lots of input. I don't expect them to use the language a lot. I just want them to hear it a lot. And the more they hear it, the more it will just start to make sense to them. You know, just like with a baby, when they're ready to speak, they speak. And, and it's the same with students. You know, when they're, they're ready to talk in Cherokee, they'll start using it more.